Hi guys, and this is a video about my new Boy Scout stuff. Uh, specifically my new vintage Boy Scout stuff. Um, so let's start off with the equipment. So right here we have a uh, Boy Scout, like official Boy Scout water bottle. It's one of the thin ones. Um, you got a plastic cap with a uh, chain, which kind of is like a lot of the early 1940s, 1930s military canteens. And it's just aluminum. Then you take the snaps off and take the cover off. And you got Boy Scout stamped on the front. That's disproportionate. And then you have Regal stamped on the back, which is the manufacturer. Got a pretty big dent in there. But uh, yeah, so just a shiny flat aluminum canteen. Then you got this one. This is made by Official Trail Musket. I'm, I think this might also be made by the Boy Scouts, but I'm not exactly sure. As you can see, the cover's in quite bad condition. Uh, the strap came off on that side, and I it smelled really bad when I first got it, and it still kind of does. But I put it in the uh, sink with some Dawn dish soap, and it smelled a bit better. But I don't think anybody ever washed it, because there was so much dirt that came off of this thing when I washed it. So I'll uh, get the pops off and show you it. It's a bit hard with one hand. Okay, so... Now you would go like this, and that opens everything up. So you got a plate kind of thing. You have a lid. I think the person that I bought it from just included that cup. And you have a pot here, which the lid goes on to. Then you have the pan where the handle extends out. It'd go straight, but you get the idea. Okay, so now on to the belt. Right here. So as you can see, it's a smaller brass. And the way it kind of locks on is you move this forward to keep it from moving. And then you move it downwards to release it. Now this differs from the usual Boy Scout belt. Where you put it in the front right here. And then you throw it through, and then you clamp this down to hold the belt in. So that kind of surprised me with that. Um, now on to the hat. So this hat is made by DSCP, um, which is Defense. Ooh, what is it? Okay, Defense Supply Center of Philadelphia. Um, so it's a actual would-be military issue campaign hat um but i bought it on ebay it's an extra large never used and i bought it for a hundred bucks so yeah quite a bit as you can see got the leather liner with the little tie in the back and the tag um so yeah just a felt campaign hat with the leather strap now on to the uniform I threw these patches on here. These are patches I'm going to sew on. Uh, patrol patch. Uh, class patch. Patrol leader. And, of course, my actual troop numbers in town and stuff like that. Currently, these are the ones that came with when I bought it. State College of Pennsylvania. Uh, or Philadelphia. I'm getting confused on that. I didn't look it up. <laughs> so, whatever it is. And then 50, uh, Troop 31, Scoutmaster. I got the knot. I don't remember what that's for. Um, so, yeah, it's 24 inches armpit to armpit, so it's pretty big, especially on me. So, yeah. And then I got some pants for it, which looked a lot more olive green in the picture on Amazon, um, but they came in more of a grayish color, like 
forest green, which is more equivalent to like the color used on German equipment. Um, there's Amazon Basics pants. They're like 15 bucks. They're pretty good uh, quality. I mean, they're cotton, the same as the uniform, just a bit thicker. Um, so yeah, and now I'll show you what it looks like all put together on my mannequin. And this is what it looks like all together. Uh, you got the hat, neckerchief, uniform, the water bottle slung over, but uh, the canteen, I just kind of strap it around there and it just kind of holds itself there. Uh, the belt and the uniform is tucked in like it should be. Just got some sneakers on him right now. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and have a good day.